Hello friends, in this video we are going to see sand casting terminology especially in point of appearing gate, engineering service and SSC junior engineer exams. In previous gate exams we have received questions like functions of riser, chills, sprue which are all will come under this topic casting terminology. This shows the importance of this topic. Casting is one of the oldest and cheapest method gives high strength and rigidity even to very thin or complicated parts which are difficult to produce by other methods of manufacturing. Here in this diagram we can see first mold cavity is prepared in shape of final product what, what we record and then molten metal is poured into that and then it is allowed to solidify. By this we can understand the casting process. Two types of mold we can see in this slide. One is open mold, two is closed mold. By seeing the two diagrams we can understand about open mold and closed mold. In open mold many tools are not required, labor cost is low, high productivity is possible but only suitable to make simple, pot simple pots. Here we have one disadvantage also that is open mold top portion is exposed to atmosphere. So it leads for some casting defects. Now we can see closed mold that is just opposite to open mold. In closed mold we can able to make any shape in one, one operation. Metal in liquid form can flow into very thin shape and this is a big advantage to make more complicated. There are two types of mold process. One is expandable mold process and other is permanent mold process. By the name we can understand about these two process. Expandable mold process. For this just we can assume sand casting method. Here we have to break the mold to remove the final, the final product outside. That is explained in this slide. Point 1 destroy to remove casting and point 2 slow but more intricate geometrics are possible. Now we can come to a permanent mold process. Here mold is made of metal so we can reuse that and this is economical also but one disadvantage here is ferrous alloys cannot be used here. Now we are going to see the terms used in casting. Small or medium sized castings are made in flask that is a box shaped container which confines the mold. Flask is made of two parts, top portion is called the cob and the lower portion is called the drag. In some complicated casting, flask will be made of three parts. The center one is called cheek. Here we are seeing pouring basin, strainer and sprue in which the molten metal pass through and reach the mold. Pouring basin is a small funnel shaped at the top of the mold into which the molten metal is poured. Without pouring basin, if we pour the molten metal straight metal straight into the sprue, it may cause eroding effect and constant flow will not be there. To avoid this, we are using pouring basin. Next, strainer is like a screen with many holes. It is utilized to maintain constant flow condition. The strainer restricts the flow of molten metal into the sprue thus helps in quick filling of the pouring basin and mainly restricts the flow of slag into the mold. Next, sprue is a vertical passage controls the flow of molten metal. Velocity of the molten metal in pouring basin is zero and it reaches some velocity at bottom portion of the sprue. The sprue will be designed as a converging passage towards bottom. Here we can see water is poured from a cup. While pouring water diameter is more at the top and decreases towards the bottom portion. That will happen to the molten metal also. So if we make the sprue as a straight path the remaining side portions, portions will be filled by air. This will lead to the porous casting and improper filling of the mold cavity so that we are using the converging passage for sprue. This is very important portion so you can get one question from gate. Earlier we have seen the vertical passage and now we are going to see the horizontal passage. 
First, runner is a passage way which regulates the molten metal along, along the parting line. Parting line is nothing but the dividing line of two molding flasks. Next, we can see skim, skim pob. Skim pob is like a bulged portion in which lighter impurities will stay at the top and heavier impurities will stay at the bottom. Next, we are going to see gate. That is the real entry of molten metal into the mold. Gate is designed such a way that quick filling of mold should happen in proper rate and molten metal should flow through runner in full level. Then only lighter impurities will settle at the top in skim pob. Next we are going to see the term pattern. Pattern is the replica of the final product. So pattern is used to create impression of final product in sand and it is removed to create mold cavity. Next core. Core is used to, is used to create hollow cavity in casting. In diagram we can see the core which is made of sand is fixed between the mold. After making the final ca casting the core is destroyed to make hollow shape. And next riser is used top of the mold where molten metal is stored as reservoir. Main purpose of riser is when the molten metal is cooled to solidify. Some shrinkage will happen. That time molten metal from the reservoir will flow into the mold to compensate the shrinkage cavity. Here we are seeing one term chaplet. That is nothing but supporting rod to fix the core in correct position. And when the molten metal is poured, the beyond force should not create any disposition on core. Next, chill. Next, chills. Chills are metallic objects which are placed in the mold at some places to increase the cooling rate of castings. In diagram number 1, we can see shrinkage cavity occurred which was made without chills. This is because solidification had taken place last in that portion so that shrinkage cavity had occurred there. If we use the chills, it will allow that portion to solidify quickly. Next, padding. Padding have two purposes. One is to protect the sharp edges because at the sharp edges the mold may easily get damaged and next purpose is for better solidification like chill. Now we can see some previous gate questions. Question number one. The primary function of a riser is to options are a feed molten metal to cast as it solidifies. Option b prevent atmospheric air from contaminating the metal in the mold. Option C. Allow gases to easily escape from mold cavity. Option D. Allow molten metal to rise above the mold cavity. Here we know that riser was a molten metal reservoir which will feed the molten metal into the mold when it gets solidifies. So the answer is Option A feed molten metal to casting as it solidifies. That is the correct answer. Now question number 2. Riser is designed so as to. Options are Option A. Freeze after the casting freezes. Option B. Freeze before the casting freezes. Option C. Freeze at the same time as the casting. Option D. Minimize, minimize their time of pouring. Here question is very simple. Riser has to freeze before or after the casting freezes. If the riser freezes before the casting freeze, then how the riser will feed the molten metal into the mold during solidification? So the answer is option A. Freeze after the casting freezes. That is the correct answer. Question number 3. Chills are used in mold to option A. Achieve directional solidification. Option B. Reduce possibility of blowholes. 
option c reduce the freezing time option d smoothen the metal for reducing spatter here chills are used at at particular places of mold to make them solidify quickly so it supports solidification to happen in one direction chills also reduce the freezing time but for that reason we should not choose the option c clearly we has to see all the options chills are not placed at all the places in some particular places of the mold only the chills are placed that is for achieving the solidification in some direction so the main purpose of chill is to achieve directional solidification so the answer option a achieve directional solidification question number 4 converging passage is used for feeding the liquid molten metal into the mold to option a increase the rate of feeding option b quickly break off the protruding portion of the casting option c decrease the wastage of cast metal option d avoid avoid aspiration of air here converging passage is nothing but the sprue in the casting terms if this sprue is made straight and molten metal is poured air will be filled in the side of the molten metal and cause air aspiration to avoid that we are using the converging passage so the answer is option d avoid aspiration of air question number 5 light impurities in the molten metal are prevented from reaching the mold cavity by providing option a strainer option b bottom well option c skim bob option d all the above here earlier we have discussed skim bob is used to filter the lighter impurities so the answer is option c skim bob that is the correct answer question number 6 match the items in column 1 and column 2 in the first column they have given the terms and in the second column they have given their purposes first is metallic chills metallic chills support the solidification second is metallic chaplets 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 give the support for the core next is riser riser was a molten metal reservoir which will feed the molten metal into the mold when it gets solidifies next is exothermic padding padding first purpose is to protect the sharp edges and next purpose of padding is to support solidification in the sharp edges now the answers will you can see the answers in the slide now now we are going to see casting applications using casting we can make very heavy parts to very small parts also heavy parts like engine blocks machine bed ship propellers big statues railway wheels etc and small parts like dental crown jewelry small statues piston piston ring etc now we are going to see casting advantages first complex geometrics are possible second molten metal can flow in any small section so any shape is possible using casting third mass production is possible with metal molding other than that it is very very easy process also now we can see casting disadvantages using casting surface finish is little poor so machining is required second point dimension inaccuracy this will happen because of metal shrinkage while cooling third disadvantage is defect arises due to moisture present in casting 